holy. Be Holy is a broadcast ministry of believers dedicated to saving the souls of all men and women. We teach the words of God that people all over the world may hear the voice of God and obey Him. God doesn't want to show us His wrath or His anger. He just wants us to repent and be holy. And after one repents, he or she can be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. But certainly not before they repent. Listen, we really can't even discuss prayer until one repents. Yes, hell is making its way towards the unrepentant heart. But it is Be Holy's commandment and mission to warn everybody. Not to control, to warn. The Word of God is spirit and it's life. That's why we take the Word of God seriously. We're not using shameful deeds and underhanded methods. We're not trying to trick anyone or... Or change the word of God. We tell the truth before God and all those who are honest and live by truth. They know the truth. They realize that we are telling the truth. Listen, friend, we've been preaching and teaching for over 20 plus years and the Lord Jesus is satisfied with our efforts and we want to keep it that way. Next on Be Holy. Be Holy. All right, walk us in. Tell us where we are. Romans chapter 6. Verse 19, Mm -hmm. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. Mm. After the manner of men for the infirmity. Yeah. Men will make it the way they want it because they'll cater to that flesh and because they don't even realize that that flesh is sick. That's why we don't trust it. From the day it was born, it started to die, and it was decaying since then. It's just nothing but a big, grown mass of sin in itself. It don't do nothing. Listen, the, the flesh don't get saved. That's what you don't understand. The flesh will never be saved. No flesh is saved. Mm-mm. God converts us into the spiritual things. And those spiritual things lead us into righteousness. We walk right in with him. Go ahead. For as ye have yielded your members, Mm -hmm. servants, to uncleanliness Mm -hmm. and to iniquity, unto iniquity, Mm -hmm. even so yield your members, servants, to righteousness, unto holiness. Hmm. Use your mouth for holiness. Use your members of your body for holiness. Don't use it for sin. Mm -mm. Don't use it for that. God changed you. It's time to make a change. It's time to make a change. And so in church, we have to continue to make that change. We go to church, we get around the saints, we talk to the saints, we rejoice with the saints, we sing with the saints, we pray with the saints, and the saints always get answers. And so the saints will show you godliness. They will show you spiritual things, and God will lead you into righteousness because the saints practice not listening to their own flesh. They practice fighting against sin, whether it be them in their own family or at work or wherever, they fight sin. I'm not telling you to go around tomorrow. You're sinning, you're sinning, you're sinning, you're sinning. No, 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 no. God will tell you when to talk. You wait for him. He'll tell you when to talk. And when when he talks through you, nobody will be able to say anything. But if 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 you're a living example, it's going to be easy for you to say something. But if you're not an example, if you're a bad example, it's going to be hard for you to say anything. It's going to be hard. Tell us. Verse 20. Mm-hmm. For when ye were the servants of sin, mm-hmm. ye were free from righteousness. See, that, that, there you go. That's why when I always tell people, sinners are not supposed to be in church. They're not. They're not supposed to be around the saved people. If they want God, God will send the preacher to them. See? They try to come to they try to come to church and glean off of what uh, the other saints say, but they can't do that. They have to have a preacher. They can't hear what the saints. They have to hear a preacher. They can't just read the scriptures. They have to have a preacher, and the preacher has to tell them what is right. Read that again. 
For when ye were servants of sin, yeah. ye were free from righteousness. Yeah, you, why are you coming in here? Why are you coming into the church and you, you, you a servant of sin? You're free from righteousness. You don't have to do what righteousness says. You don't have to follow righteousness. You're free from it. <laughs> you serve sin. But those of us who have <laughs> been free from sin, we don't sin just to be in sin. We have, Listen, if we sin, it's because we didn't know it was a sin. But we don't practice sin at all. And you'll be put out of the church for practicing sin. They're going to talk to you and try to get you to stop. But if you're supposed to, you know, you supposedly been in the water, received the Holy Ghost, and you still sinning? Oh, no, you're, you're a fake. You can't, you can't be around the, the children of God. And some people say, well, that's too harsh. You can't put sinners out of church. Listen to me. There won't be one sinner in heaven. If you're going to act like your father, Jesus Christ, you can't have sinners in church. Well, how are they going to ever learn? That's not your problem. When they want God, God will send the preacher to them or send them to the preacher. He don't send them to church. He sent them to the preacher. He didn't say, how can they hear unless they have a church? He didn't say that. He said, how can they hear unless they have a preacher? And so by you asking, well, how are they going to get it if, uh, if they don't go to church? That tells me you don't have a preacher. Because a preacher knows better. And if you had a preacher, the preacher would have been and told you, you can't have sinners around the saints. And see, I, I, this is what I don't understand. They'll sit and say, okay, we're supposed to welcome everybody in, into the church. You know, whether they're thieves, they can come on the church. If they kill people, come on to the murder, come on in the church. Liar, they come on in the church and, and get saved and Lord forgive you and this, that, and other. But they would never let a thief, they would never knowingly invite a thief into their own home. They wouldn't do that. That's a hypocrite. They would never invite a murderer into their home around their children. That's a hypocrite. But they'll invite that murderer in here amongst the children of God's children. That's a hypocrite. Sinners ain't supposed to be in church. Sinners are supposed to have a preacher somewhere. We come together. Listen, it said, <laughs> do not forsake the assembling of yourselves together. It didn't say forsake not the assembling of yourselves with sinners. It didn't say that. Matter of fact, the scripture said, if a sinner does walk in, do this. If they just so happen to walk in, don't invite sinners to church. They're not going to get anything from church. They have to have a preacher. And if what I'm saying sounds strange to you, that means you don't have one. Because your preacher would have told you the same thing, I've, what I'm saying right now. Your preacher would say that thing because the spirit would speak through him for him to say the same thing. And you up there, and you got a secular church and going to invite sinners in there. Go ahead. Go ahead. They have some place to go. Let them go in there and fool everybody. Mm -mm. Sinners ain't even supposed to be in church. They serve sin. They're not, look, they're free from righteousness. They don't have to go to church. You are free from sin. You're not free from righteousness. You have to be where righteousness is. You can't. Go ahead and read. Verse 21. Mm -hmm. What fruit had ye been in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? Mm -hmm. For the end of those things is death. Listen, if we're free from sin, we have nothing to do with death. We've already died. We're not going back to that. Those who are free from righteousness, <laughs> they're tied to death. Death is for them. Go ahead. 22. Mm -hmm. But now being made free from sin. Yes. And become servants to God. Yes. Ye have your fruit unto holiness. So that stops all the sinners who talk about I'm saved. You don't serve God. When you say you're free from sin, that means you obey and do what God says. And if you're not obeying and doing what God says, you're not free from sin, sir, madam, little boy, little girl. You're not free from sin if you're still obeying your flesh and the devil. We are free from sin because we go after righteousness. 
And if you're not going after righteousness, you are doing nothing but wasting time. That's all you're doing. Wasting, wasting, wasting time. And the end, everlasting life. Mm. Yeah. You're not going to have everlasting life and sin on this earth and stay on, live in sin on this earth and then go have everlasting life. Mm -mm. Just like when people on their deathbed and um, people say, hey, uh, come and pray for them that they might get saved. They're not going to get saved. Mm -mm. You can forget that. Whatever they were doing, what did the word say? Whatever you're doing when I come, you keep doing continue. that. Continue, yeah. You continue that. And so he comes and gets every life. He comes and get them. And so when he shows up, whatever you were doing before, you keep on doing that thing because that's what you're going to be charged with. You understand that? Just like if the police catch you in the middle of a robbery, they're not going to say, oh, well, he stopped, so we got it. We should let him go. No, you're still robbing. They just caught you in it. You're still a thief. They call you a thief. You're still robbing people. And so when the saints come, come to God, we stop sin. We stop sinning. But this, the them, them devils that still serve the devil and serve sin, they won't stop anything. And we invite them to church. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Read that. Read those verses again. But now being made free from sin, free from sin. And become servants to God. Servants to God. Ye have your fruit unto holiness. Your fruit unto holiness. And the end everlasting life. Hmm. So you, you be holy. <laughs> be holy. And then you can go into everlasting life. Be holy. And then go into everlasting life. So if you're not trying to do what we're preaching here, you're wasting time. You're not going to be holy. And you're never going, you're never going to enter in everlasting life. Just stop going to church. Just stop. If you're not going to stop sinning, just stop going to church. Because God, God doesn't require you to go to church. He does not require you to go into righteousness. You're free from righteousness, remember? And because you're free from righteousness, uh, everlasting life is not yours. He's not talking to you. You're not included. But God said that we, his people, we're free from sin. Our fruit is what? Holiness. Holiness. So you know that tree by its fruit. That's how you know them. The holiness, you'll know them. It, listen, anybody who says that they're saved, you should see holiness on them. By the way they talk, move, breathe, and say it, whatever they're doing, you should know by that, their holiness. Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. Join the discussion on Facebook at Be Holy Broadcast. Our Be Holy podcast is at Podbean or contact us at BeHoly116 at gmail.com or 614-268-7757. Thanks for listening to Be Holy with your host, Leonardo Butler. Tune in next week. Be Holy.